Tom Tolls here. I'm here supporting the Dromedary Jumping Slug. You've heard of the underdog. What about the underslug? Well, the Dromedary Jumping Slug, it's got a hump on its back. So it's kind of like a camel. It doesn't carry any prestige, though. Camels, you know, they're getting calls from Hollywood saying, do you want to star in Lawrence of Arabia? Or getting their own brand of cigarettes named after it. It's often found in Canada, the slug. Which, you know, if normally to get rid of slug, you chuck salt on it. There you go, get rid of you. If you chuck sugar on this, he's going to go, oh, cheers, mate. I'm going to have that on my pancakes with maple syrup. It's obviously called the jumping slug. Why is that? Because it can jump, right? A slug with a hump on its back and it can jump. Where's its Disney movie? You know, you've got the hunchback of Notre Dame. Where's the dromedary jumping slug and the princess? That's what TT thinks. I'm going to send you over to Simon. He's going to tell you some more science. The dromedary jumping slug is pretty spectacular. Its amazing acrobatic skills are its main line of defence against vicious predators like carnivorous snails. The slug manages to launch itself into the air by acting like a coiled spring. You can find this little slimy jumper in Canada and northern USA, but sadly its numbers are decreasing and it needs your help. I've been Tom Toll, the double T. If you want to vote for the dromedary jumping slug, please click like below. If you want to find out about some more, you know, ugly animals, how about you click one of these icons here?